Hello world, it's me Paige again. Welcome to another video of the week. Today I am happy to say we are doing another back to school video. Today we are going to be doing a video I never saw on the internet yet and you guys might have saw weird DIYs tested out or weird hacks tested out on Pinterest. I went on Pinterest as well and looked for specifically school DIYs. So this video is going to be DIYs tested for school. And we have four DIYs that I'm happy to say their levels are easy, medium, and hard. One of them are hard, two of them are medium, easy, and one is really easy. So why we stop chit-chatting, let's get on to this video. Bad. 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 So the first day we're going to be doing today is a decorative way to change plain pencils into cute pencils. And I saw this DIY on Pinterest and it says that if you put washi tape on your pencils it could be an easier decorative way and if you can see no one really likes plain pencils. I like plain pencils a little but sometimes I want decorative ones. Decorative pencils nowadays are very pricey in the stores and maybe if I people do this DIY then it'll be a cheaper way. So you just put washi tape on pencils and basically that's it. So we're going to put this DIY to a test today. So this is going to be what you need. What you're going to need are pencils. I do not have plain original pencils, but if you use these decorated pencils, they'll make them even cuter. You need scissors to cut the washi tape. Two washi tape or any washi tape if you want. This is optional. I got a mug to put all my key pencils in. So this DIY technically does not have instructions, but I printed out a picture of the actual instructions. It's a picture by picture, and it says, it looks like the first thing you have to do is grab your pencil and, yeah, and eat pull out a piece of washi tape. Okay, so we're gonna use this blue crackly? I don't know what crackly means, but okay. Uh, washi, ooh, this is a nice washi tape. You put it over the pencils. So, I don't know how this is gonna sharpen, so this is gonna be difficult. Oh, hot. this looks hard now because you have to put it around the whole pencil and it seems like you have to put it piece by piece. I'm hoping it works so I don't have to buy decorative pencils anymore, but this looks difficult already. It's looking really bad now. It's actually looking pretty cute now, except like the weird bumps on it. Oh gosh, that does not look cute. Okay, I put it around the pencil. Oh gosh, this does not look cute. So I will be back after I do all the pencils. Well, I did the pencils and to be honest, the pencils do not look cute. The washi tape is cute itself, but on the pencils it does not. You can see on the pencils there's little like lumps on it. And if I actually took my time and put it one by one, this does not look like what it looks like in the picture right now. This is expectations. This is legit reality. Versus these pencils and these pencils, I believe I would buy these pencils instead of these cheap, weird looking washi tape pencils. So, to also make sure if these are worth it, even though it's a DIY fail right now, if these washi tape pencils can actually sharpen in an actual sharpener. I did not want to use an electric sharpener. I don't want to break it if it doesn't work, so we're going to sharpen these pencils. Okay. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. So the tape is just coming off itself, but it's not sharpening it. It's actually got stuck inside the sharpener. So yes, indeed, this is a DIY fail guys do not do this DIY so time for 
the next DIY. The second DIY we're going to do is I saw on Pinterest you can turn mint, mint or gum containers into ear bud containers. Everyone has a struggle. Literally get out your earphones and they're all tangled. So I put it in my pencil pouch and they always seem to get tangled between those pencils, highlighters, and erasers. So if I had this earbud container, life would be easier. So this is going to be what you need. What you're going to need are gum or mint containers. I have the Icebreaker Mints and the Cool Blast Icebreakers. This is optional, but a container to put your mints in since I got a new container of mints. So I'm going to put the mints in here so I can see them later. Yummy. And of course, you're going to need some earbuds. So to start the DIY, you have to, if your mint container is not empty, you have to take out the mints. Today for this DIY, I'm going to be using the icebreaker mints since in this photo, it is that container. So maybe it'll be easier than this square rectangular case. Here. Comment down below your favorite type of mint or gum. <laughs> it smells good. The second part it says you need to take off the sticker on the mint container. I don't know how this is gonna work. So we'll just slide off. Is it that easy? Oh my gosh, it's that easy! Oh, and it just left It says it's optional to, to decorate the case. I am not decorating the case for the sake that I will mess it up already. So, you are just going to wrap your earbuds in the shape of this. No one knows how this is gonna work because I believe this is going to be harder since I have to wrap this around. So it looks like the shape of this. Oh my god. You're looking at the Oh my gosh. I see my face is getting hard. Okay. It's tangled. I know it's half of the earbuds are tangled. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's hard. Okay. I already like a few third layer. So I got the earbuds almost in a circle. I'll fix it. So then you put this inside the earbud, the mint container. I mean, I keep calling it earbud container. It's almost an earbud container. You have to put this. Oh my gosh, this is so hard than I thought it was gonna be. I put it inside. Oh my gosh. Is this working? I think this is working, guys. I think this is like the first actual DIY I used, I did on Pinterest that actually worked. So this is what the DIY look looks like. This DIY was actually gonna be really hard, but it was really, really easy. Pinterest, thank you. You made this seem really hard, but it's easy. And I did not expect this to work since the picture looks very complicated, and I think things are very complicated. But this actually really, really worked. So I this is a DIY, yes. And I believe you guys should do this because I will actually use this for school now because I can put this in my pencil pouch and I just have earbuds on the go without them being tangled. So now let's get on to the next DIY. So the next DIY we're going to be doing is a kind of medium hardish DIY. And I saw this, this DIY did not have any directions, but I thought maybe I'll try it at the back probably so this is to turn a regular composition notebook into a watercolor notebook and I saw this picture on Pinterest I thought maybe I should try this since if you guys did not know I'm actually pretty good at watercoloring this is my notebook for watercoloring I made a galaxy triangle I did rainbow also it's going to be what you need for this DIY There are a lot of things in this DIY, so what you're going to need is a regular composition notebook. I just got this at my local Walgreens. White piece of paper to do the watercolor on, or if you have watercolor paper, that could work also. Elmer School Glue watercolor. I have this huge palette of watercolor and also this Crayola one, but the Crayola one is cheaper, so I would recommend the Crayola. Paint brushes, which is obvious, and water, which I do not have, but I will show you guys in a bit. 
So the first part of these DIYs is to do the watercolor part. The watercolor part is very hard in my opinion, but I've done watercolor before. So right now you would not need your glue and your composition notebook, so you can put that at the side. I have the picture right here as a guideline. When I saw this picture, it was for free printable watercolor notebook covers. And no, we are going to make actual watercolor. I was thinking what I should do, but if you do not know how to watercolor, I'm gonna teach you guys right now how to watercolor. So you will need a big fine brush. And what you're gonna do is dip it in your water and you're gonna put water all over your paper. did not explain when you put water all over watercolor it'll be easier for you that the um, color will spread easier and if you put too much water into the color it will go through the paper clearly since this is regular paper that's why I said if you wanted to use watercolor paper then it'd be easier but you guys may not have watercolor paper so you can do regular paper if you want to. Also, I forgot to say, put a placemat under this because this is going to get messy probably. And I was thinking what I should do for this. I may do galaxy since I love doing my galaxy triangle art. So you're going to need this to put the water on the colors. So you need them to be nice and wet. So clearly. So I'm gonna put them on all the colors. I'm gonna put it on the white, the purple lilac, and the two on the blue. And this process is going to take a very, very long time. I'm going to cut this clip until I'm medium size done with this project right now. So after a couple minutes or half an hour, I will show you guys half of my project so far. See, purple is always the background. Then I will layer it on a blue with this bigger brush to make it blend in a little. Then I will put specks with this, ooh, that was embarrassing. This, this brush with white paint. So I am nearly done right now. So what I did is, you can see, I put the purple first and then the blue. And now I'm gonna show you, since maybe I should show you the way how I splatter paint. Okay, so the splatter paint, of course, you're going to need the paint you want. So I'm gonna put um, some water on the color I'm gonna use, and it is a white color. Since I take an opportunity to use these really crappy brushes from these paint scents, I'm going to just put the color onto it. And what I do is basically hold the paintbrush and just splatter it like that. And please do not do this. This is this makes it look messy. See, it's already messy. I messed up half of this artwork so I can just show you how, what not to do. See, it's not pretty. So I will come back when I'm done splattering. So after I did the little white splatters, you are going to let this dry since yes, this is watercolor, water needs to dry. And since this is not watercolor paper, yes, I said it once again, you should have used watercolor paper, but I showed an example without water paper, watercolor paper. And this might dry in a weird way since this is indeed regular paper. So I am going to leave this to dry half, half an hour or so, and then I will come back to this DIY. Later. So oh, an hour or so after my watercolor was drying, it ended up looking like this. I recommend not to leave it outside because watercolor is very thin and it will dry out in the sun and will be white paper practically. So, so like I said, it's a little wrinkly since it's regular paper. So I'm going to be cutting it the size of this composition notebook so i will need a pen pen thank you for the pen so i will measure it by putting it down on the paper and tracing it okay okay i feel like this job is going to work i'm having a good day at this yeah we're doing okay so i traced it and now we're going to be cutting it out Then 
then we are going to be gluing this onto our composition notebook. So, glue! Glue. <laughs> you know, glue falls out of the, of the sky now. And also, if you want to keep this part, if you want a little decoration, which I'll show you later, then you will have to cut that part out. We will glue this part onto the composition notebook. So this will be magic now. So I got the piece of watercolor paper on the composition notebook. And like I said, if you wanted to leave this part, that's optional. And I'm going to decorate it with some washi tape. And it's some blue crackly white washi tape. So I'm gonna put that all over our composition notebook. Apparently the world wants me to do some gummy bear, gummy bear duct tape. So I will be back when I put the duct tape and washi tape on. After I put the washi tape and also the world told me to put gummy bear tape on my journal. Thanks world. It looks really cute. So this DIY is officially a DIY. Yes, I think this is the easiest one so far out of the DIYs. I haven't done the other one, but this DIY is really, really easy. And it's really cute actually. So why on to the next DIY? So the next DIY we're going to be doing is a duct tape lunchbox. This is not easy. This is not medium, medium-ish. This is hard. I did this on purpose because I saw this DIY and it's like, oh, people think it'll be so easy. I'll put this to the test. The instructions looked like it was easy, but then when I printed it out, here are the instructions. 33 pages of instructions. This is not worth it. So this is going to be what you need for this DIY. So what you're going to need are these templates. These templates will be in the description down below since I did not make these templates itself. You are also going to need duct tape. Duh. So I got this chevron print duct tape, these gummy bear duct tape, purple duct tape, and the zebra duct tape. You're also going to need scissors. I got my trusty glasses on. Yes, indeed. I never wear my glasses in videos, so, cause I, I need to read these directions. So the first direction, um, lay the duct tape out sticky side over your template so the, so, or the duct tape is slightly overlapped so that it sticks together. So I'm gonna be using, I'll use the chevron tape. Okay, I'm gonna put it on each, each one. I'm gonna try the back part first. I don't think this is gonna work because it's duct tape. It's hard to like keep in one place. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Oh gosh, okay. I thought like this was gonna take a really, really long time. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh it's, it's like stuck. It won't open the scissors. Oh my gosh. The second duct tape strip, which is not fully laid, but I guess. You have to layer it. It's just to layer it on top of each other. This is hard. Let me try the kissing kitty scissors. It cuts all the way through. How is this possible? I told myself wrong right now. This is not even like full length. Oh well. Prove that kitty scissors can cut anything now. We got that strip. So I'm gonna do the back first, so it'll be easier. And the duct tape with another piece of duct tape, this time sticky side down. Okay, I have to do it all over again with the sticky side down. Lucky, I know this camera. It's not it's not Okay. Repeat step two, each down to the appropriate size. I have to cut it the same length as this. Yeah, I take on this. Yeah, I take on this. Right, this. 
to the template. So maybe it's still easier to cut. Maybe it'll be easier. I did it. Okay. So now I have to do the rest of the part. So yeah. So I will come back when I'm done doing the back in front of this lunchbox. Later. So it's a couple minutes later, and these actually took so much time. And you can see I used the gummy bear tape for this one, the chevron tape, and the purple tape. And this is supposed to be this part, which is the back, I'm guessing. The purple one is supposed to be the front, I guess. The front. And then this chevron is supposed to be the back. Okay, so now looking at the instructions, it says you can start decorating them with a colored pattern tape. I'm guessing you're supposed to use the regular tape, but I'm gonna leave it like this. And then when I went over with another layer to cover, see the colors, piece of so next you have to make two strips which I'm going to make the zebra tape. I have to take these to here. So I have to take these to here. Okay. So I'll be back when I take these to here. As almost everybody was predicting, the Hawthorne Hawks thrashed the Melbourne Demons in the VFL Grand Final. I will eventually get this right. Half of it is really, really bad. Up. That really looks not good. But if I figured out, if I tape these sides on these little purple thing and then I put this heart over top wait I'm doing this wrong no if I put this flat part on the back you fold this and it connects to it boom so I will put the gummy bear tape on top of that I am still not positive if this DIY is going to work or not. And probably, but we'll attempt. We'll put a little bit of tape. It's not even. Okay, it's a little even. Okay. So I attempted. I forgot to put the flap in! Oh my gosh! I swear this DIY is the death of me. So I will be right back after I redo that part right now. I feel really stupid. Okay, redo. So I fixed it up a little and yes, I was stupid by taping the wrong part down. And I made it a little prettier some gummy bear tape. And now we are going to put the front flap on. I'm being very confident this may work but I don't have my hopes high since I cannot do it right or later. So how I'm going to tape this flap down. Hoping this will stick. Oh yes, it sticked. Okay, then you put, <gasps> that's so cute. Oh my gosh, no, no, that's cute. Uh-uh. I feel like I've done something better in my life. This is a very well done wallet. I feel very confident. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need a close up on this right now. So this DIY was very hard and stressful, but this is a DIY yes. I thought this wasn't going to work. This is actually really cute. I'm gonna use this for school, actually. It's so cute. So, even though it took about an hour to make this, 
make it if you if you get bored actually make this so I hope you guys like this video thumbs up make sure to comment down below any more video ideas also, if you are new and you want to see more of me, then click the red subscribe button and you will get notified every time I make videos. And if you did not know, I make videos every time a week. I do not have a specific day, but it's different and you'll get a surprise every single week when I post videos. It's like a new surprise every single week, like I said. So I will see you guys next week. So. Bye. 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 Bye.